So guys, Dr. Aaron Macklin here with Revival Performance Physical Therapy. And today I'm going to show you guys a great exercise to do to start activating that core and kind of learning how to control the lower back, wake up those muscles again so that you're not using your lower back and moving at the lower back and the pelvis, but instead just bracing it, turning on that natural back brace of your transverse abdominis while you're moving at the hips. So what we're going to do is, this is going to be called supine hook line, that's the position he's in, while you're activating the core and then you're using your lifting leg just slightly and kicking it out. So first thing we're going to do is try to just brace that core, turn on that transverse abdominis. So one first way we're going to do is find that hip bone right there in front of your hip or on the front there, you're called your ASIS there, and you're just gonna go just inside of that hip bone, so just, just in here, time towards your belly button, push down into your skin, into your flesh a little bit, and then think about kind of pushing out against that with your ab muscles. So that muscle that you feel is your transverse abdominis. Um, another, if you can't feel that right, or if you're holding your breath while you do that, make sure you're able to do, engage that muscle, pushing out against your finger while you're not holding your breath, so engage that while you're taking a couple breaths. If you can't do that, keep focusing on that first before you move on to any sort of other movement because that's more important than anything else. So bracing that, still can't figure it out. Another kind of weird way of thinking about it, but it works, is think about holding in your pee. So you gotta pee and you're holding that in. When you hold that pelvic floor in, it turns on that transverse abdominal muscles and stabilizes the back really well so that you're not moving at your lower back and we can move somewhere else without putting that extra stress at your lower back. So brace that. Make sure you're still breathing, and then now we'll make it a little bit harder by doing a little bit of a kick out. So, feel it with your fingers, and then just gently keeping all, a lot of tension in the core there, and then just kicking that leg straight out, just like that. What this is doing is your hip flexors, which are attached kind of under your guts, under the transverse abdominis here, onto the lower back. You'll notice when you kick out, it tries to make that back arch like that. So that's those hip flexors that are holding up your leg, trying to arch that back. So it's stressing the, the hip a little bit in the lower back and you're having to use your core to control that back from arching or moving that pelvis around. So you're gonna just keep that uh, abdominal uh, contraction, making sure you're feeling it with your fingers so that you don't lose it. And if you start moving at your pelvis or moving and arching your back, just stop. No use in doing this wrong and encouraging bad habits. And so the moment that you kind of start losing that contraction or it's getting too tired, just take a break. So do as many as you can without losing your form and then take a little break, try a couple of times a day, just start waking up those muscles and have fun.